In today's demo, we're going to see how Security Fabric 6.2 helps operations teams to have broad visibility across their digital attack surface and also provides the tools to help them streamline and automate their daily operations. This, of course, frees them up to tackle the new phases of digital transformation needed for their business. Now let's go ahead and log in. And the place we want to start is with that broad visibility. If I'm in operations, I need to have a clear picture of the network so that as things are changing, as I'm adding technology, I have a home base that I can always refer to and trust. Now, of course, if I don't have a security fabric in place, I'm not going to be able to see a lot. Maybe some directly connected hosts or some upstream, downstream routers, but not much else. But as soon as I enable the security fabric, I'm immediately going to be able to get all of that rich information, how the network is segmented, where the endpoints are located relative to each other, all of my remote location information and other information that's available through the security fabric. On top of that, I'm also going to be able to see all details of my endpoints. So I'll be able to see things like what's connected right now, who's logged into each endpoint, what operating system or applications are installed, and importantly, are there any critical vulnerabilities that I need to take care of right away? And lastly, the other core component is 4D Analyzer. It's seeing all of the logs from all of the devices and endpoints connected to the fabric, and using the latest threat intel from FortiGuard, it's going to be able to correlate all of the endpoint activities and alert me if there's any compromised hosts in my network. Now, everything we've seen up to now, this is all available in 6.0 already. So let's take a look next at some new things in 6.2. If we consider first some features coming from the core FortiGates, we can look at features like SD-WAN. And SD-WAN, for example, is involved with collecting a lot of information, telemetry information about links, bandwidth, uh, different application properties. If any site connected to the fabric has a critical outage, I can quickly see that, I can click on it, and I can pull up all of the rich information that's already exists behind the scenes, uh, providing very, very fast response time for such issues. So SD-WAN shows one example of how additional telemetry data, which the core products already have, can be made even more visible and actionable within the topology. And along this line, one of the areas of 6.2 that we spent a lot of time to develop is a framework which now enables any of the Fortinet family to join. And aside from simply showing up in the topology, this framework enables those products to exchange telemetry data with the fabric about different traffic or endpoints that it's seeing. And it also provides them a mechanism to raise alerts or other information which the operations may need to take care of quickly. In the example that you're seeing here, we can see 4080C, it's able to join the fabric, it's able to share information, I can click on it, and I can pull back relevant details from that product and show it up directly in this topology view. Now at this point, the next question is usually, well, what about my third-party products? And the answer is yes. Using the connectors that we've built, we're able to reach through those connectors to discover and pull back the relevant telemetry data and provide all of the necessary details for the administrator directly in this view. So let's take a look at, say for example, I have a multi-cloud environment. I'm now able to add my AWS segment, add my Azure segment on here, and I can see how it's connected to the rest of my network. But that's not all. I'm also able to see what instances are installed there, what's running on each instance, um, are there any critical vulnerabilities that I need to pay attention? So just like with all of my Fortinet products and all of my core products, I'm able to also now see third-party products, all of that data being pulled together and made very, very visible and actionable for the administrator. So now let's go take a look at some of the other Fabric connectors that have been added in 6.2. If you remember in version 6, a lot of the focus was around public cloud and the integration capabilities there. And there have been some incremental things added in public cloud, but most of the expansion in 6.2 is centered around two other areas. Number one is private cloud and SDN. We're now able to integrate with more and more systems such as VMware NSXT and also with systems like Kubernetes. So the fabric is quickly learning about containers and allows me now to import relevant information from those environments and to build security around them. The second area is around endpoint management systems. 
These are the systems that my administrators are using daily to classify and monitor the endpoints. And a lot of business logic and other context information exists over there. And we're now able in 6.2 to integrate with those systems for displaying the relevant context information in, say, something like Topology View, and also for controlling dynamic security around the endpoints as well. Now, once I've gone ahead and enabled any of these connectors, um, it's going to show up on my Fabric Connector dashboard, and I'm going to be immediately able to start seeing information coming from that third-party device. If we take AWS as an example here, I can right-click on it. I can quickly pull up from this same dashboard view all of the information that it can see across the connector. So I can see all the different tags and groups and security groups that are defined over there. I can see what instances are running over there. I can see what operating system is running on them, what network they're connected to. And I can even pull back the things like vulnerabilities, which again, we saw earlier in the topology view. Taking the AWS example again, I can right click on it and I can pull up a filtered list of the policy table. This is going to show me which instances I've defined in my configuration that I'm protecting on that AWS segment. It's going to be allow me to see what policies are defined allowing traffic in and out of it and specifically what inspection is being applied to that traffic. And just like with the policies, I can also right click and pull up other information. So for example, I can see what automation rules I've defined. If I have some Lambda functions running in AWS, I can see exactly what's the fabric calling, how are they calling it, and what's it being used for. And speaking of automation, let's take a quick look at some of the new capabilities in 6.2 within the automation framework. Now, in version 6, we have a very, very fine-grained and robust framework. It's able to trigger off of any event coming from any device connected to the fabric. So in short, any device that can generate a log can be the source of automation in 6.0. Now in 6.2, I'm able to trigger off of more complex rules. I can go to 40 Analyzer and I can define an event handler which has access to all the logs from all the devices that are connected to the fabric over time. So what this means is that I can now build more complex rules which trigger automation and over time as my process evolves and I learn more information, I can continuously refine my event handlers to trigger off of exactly what's needed. And if we look at some of the different actions that are now available in 6.2, you're going to start to see a lot more of those fabric connectors being populated within the automation framework. So what that means is you're going to be able to call a lot of different automation rules against public cloud, against private cloud, and against endpoint management systems, which is basically allowing you to now build more and more automation around your day-to-day -day activities. Now, the automation framework itself is very, very granular. It can allow operations teams to assess their process, identify those very, very specific items which take a disproportionate amount of time, and to automate them. But maybe next, let's take a look one level up at a more end-to-end -end process, a much more complicated process where the security fabric can really start to show the power that it has. And the process that we're going to take a look at now is around compliance. Now, compliance itself is a very complex topic. There's a lot of stakeholders, a lot of different types of information and data, which is not familiar, and it involves a lot of different manual steps in most environments today. And the security rating feature really provides a very nice framework for running different compliance checks across all of the different devices which are attached to the fabric and giving back a report that is organized according to priorities according to severities and giving really really actionable information that's relative to compliance and if we take a look at the rating report you're going to see it's a little bit reorganized in 6.2 it contains all of the information in one screen it packs all of the different results for all the different products it's running against into a single report and by clicking on the different entries you're able to see all of the information for the different devices what that check was, what's the recommended way to fix it, and even ability to apply the fix and apply the changes directly in this screen without navigating away. You're also going to find some additional filters and other things at the top, so you're able to quickly say, okay, just show me the critical events and take care of those first before moving on to, say, the lower priority items. Now, everything we just saw here is already part of version 6, aside from maybe how the data is organized. And building on this in 6.2, we can really start to leverage the security rating as a powerful component of daily operations. 
Just like we saw in the topology, security rating also expands to more parts of the network. Within the results we're looking at here, we can see the same set of rating checks running against many devices in the fabric. This includes the core FortiGates, plus the switches, the APs, and even other networking devices like the FortiAnalyzer and the FortiManager in this report. And also, similar to the topology, we can see it expanding to third-party segments as well, like AWS. I can now pull back the same set of CIS control checks validating my cloud segments and have a unified report across all of my infrastructure. And speaking about CIS controls, this is where the real power of security rating can now be seen in 6.2. So far, we've been looking at the Fortinet best practices view, but let's say, for example, I have a PCI auditor coming on site. I need to be able to provide him with evidence and information relative to PCI, which of course my operations team is not really equipped to do. But by using CIS controls within the security rating, I'm now able to map these results to other compliance standards. So with a single click, I can reorganize all of these results according to PCI. I can change the order, I can change the sections, I can rename everything, all to match the PCI standard, which of course is what my auditor needs to prepare his final report. Now, compliance is a large process with a lot of information and a lot going on. And just like with IOC or critical vulnerabilities, I can now also populate the same information directly into the topology view. So as an operations guy, I can have one place to look that's going to highlight all of my very, very critical information and all tied back to that very, very rich information underneath. So that concludes today's demo. Uh, please note all of the things you've seen here are also available on display in the Tech Expo. So please take the time, pay a visit to the Tech Expo, and talk to the experts that are there. Thank you very much.